Hey guys, Annie Crunch here today with and we're back with the glorious Merlin Season 3 Episode 5. So we have got, Season 3 has been really good so far, like my free, uh, Roof of Pendragon, the Tears of Roof of Pendragon, two episodes were amazing, then the Goblin Gold was great. The weakest episode was probably last, but that's mainly because we've sort of had that episode type before where they they do a tournament and then someone tries to use a deadly thing to kill off in the tournament. We've had that plot line quite a lot, so that went nothing special, but still enjoyable. I look forward to. I think, I think I'm introducing these characters more for though when uh, we have when we have the big table, which uh, I'm looking for. Um, but this one, I can't remember what the preview was about. But the episode says Merlin has a meeting with the wizard old sorceress Talison. Who takes the young warlock to a crystal cave and shows him a glimmer of the future. Not that we need any more glimmers of the future, because let's be honest, Moon has been getting <laughs> a bit panicky with him. But yeah. <laughs> Just bandits. Why are they out alone? Is it cursed? No. Not unless you're superstitious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that basically means yeah. <laughs> never follow us in here. They won't dare. Trust me. Why is that? Oh shit! The funk. What was that? An arrow. An arrow. Oh, good. Oh, that's like something terrible. Yeah, well, that's not good. <laughs> this is actually really sad. Look, it is a weird source, so it's going to put me out. What could have came back to his skin? Just saying, magic's so fucking useful. <laughs> Within hours, he will be fully recovered. You're sure? Also, massively dangerous, but still. Anywhere. What do you mean? I want to show you something, Merlin. <laughs> you will get no answers off me. <laughs> what? You must wait and see. <laughs> More going against the. Who's the guy with the white hair, though? What is it you see? Images, flashes. Is that Merlin? Flashes. Merlin? Hmm. Oh, God, it queen. You see? Images, flashes. I've seen some. What reason? Only the crystals can tell you. They contain futures with the not yet born. The secrets they reveal, Emrys, are unique to you. But they're not. Alone. Are they a guarantee? Look into them. I guess the dragon burn in the city did happen. It just. He was able to stop it, so the vision was technically correct. But he thought it'd be worse than it was. That's an obvious future, Hercule Nether. That's not I'm only telling the future. You can predict that yourself. <laughs> Ooh, should we go with old fashioned way of assassination? Instead of using some magical stuff.
God, those crystals were as good as a, useless as a crystal ball, really, weren't it? Like, fucking hell, we could have predicted that. <laughs> you look like a startled stoat. Yeah? Well, at least I don't look like a bone idol toad. Let's go. I, like yeah, I, know, I can look that way, yeah. I can fully see the screen, but some people believe I can't. Plus, I have it on that screen as well. As well. <laughs> Merlin, yeah. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Told. You said I had an arrow in my back. I'll never know. Although, some credit must go to my servant, Merlin. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Immediately, Father. For a moment, we feared you might miss Lady Morgana's birthday. Oh, fuck Lady Morgana's birthday. Tomorrow promises to be quite a night. To be fair, if you've got Morgana actually 16 killer, you've got fair play. Would you love yourself? Anyway. Anyway, come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Sometimes it's best not to know. <laughs> that just puts me off eating even more. <laughs> Morgana's birthday. I have to get her a present. What are you getting her? Ah, it's a secret. Come on, you can tell me. A dagger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, the horse is going to be a pair. Yeah, with a horse. It's not the only thing. Arthur's present for Morgana. He's told me it's a dagger. A dagger. Merlin, I think you're over. Not really. <laughs> As for the sight of Morgana with a horse, it was the same. It's hardly a rare sight. Certainly not one to be trusted as a harbinger of doom. To be fair, I don't think blaming for rationalizing it, but <laughs> we've seen the, the exact ah, vision. So. <laughs> you must love acting out those scenes. Morgana's present. What do you think? Oh, Beautiful. different knife. Okay. Feel the balance. Feel the sharpness of the blade. Yeah, he's taking a bit of the that in the dagger. <laughs> yeah. This is what every woman wants, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm no expert, but don't women normally go for pretty things? Like oh, that? no. Why did you do that? Merlin, <laughs> now you've made him go get a pretty dagger. How do I look? Same as you always do. Handsome. Ah, oh, man, it fucked all about realising. Presumptuous, ornate. Probably be disappointed if I were Morgana. <laughs> Good. So now you're Nope, because oh, hey, he won't be worried until he sees a new dagger. <laughs> I love how he's already got the nice dagger. I'm going to enjoy this feast like everyone else, even if it's from Morgana. See, technically, him seeing the vision has now changed. If he didn't, like, didn't see it, then he would never comment on the dagger. Ah, <laughs> uh, you dumb, dumb Merlin. Perfect will. Just a watcher. Night and day. I was showing these visions for a reason. This is madness. These visions is what's going to cause that what happens. It's the way the fucking visions work. <laughs> that they're inevitably going to happen, and I think you do is going to cause it. <laughs> Could you imagine if he assassinated Morgana? Fucking hell, we would kill everyone. <laughs> Stealth Merlin. Remember the last time what happened, Merlin, when you followed him? You got caught and then fucking tied up. <laughs> That's not now, mate. She's going to meet someone first. Is that Senator now? Well, technically, no, because we wanted to, we technically wanted to kill Rufa. I'll get that. And Yarrow, we need to stop the bleeding. Of course. Um, anything you need, just tell me. Will she be all right? Oh god, uh, uh, stitches! Uh. <laughs> it 
Seems he can't bring bring himself to Kenner a second time. <laughs> well, he feels very more bad about it. Just... Wish it could have been some other way. <laughs> it's quite annoying because I quite want Morgan to kill him. <laughs> so it's like, but I'm also like, oh no, she's going to endanger everyone. But I'm like, oh, but she could succeed because he's a soft you for scum and needs to die. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love his actor. I think his character that adds a lot of her drama to the series. But oh my god, he's a horrible person. Too beautiful. Yes, son. The big decision for. See, it's a hard thing with Morgana. Because of how much she wants to kill Uther, it's got to the point how many innocents would she get her in the way of it. But Uth has also killed a lot of people. Along with Morgana's reason, the reason she's the way she is now is because of Utha. So, and then Merlin technically, because she was used as a spell to kill Merlin, and obviously Merlin had to kill her to stop the spell. But that's what caused her to be like what she is today. So it's all like, is letting her die? Like she's not actually done anything that wrong. Like it's saying that she do, it's that we want to obviously with me to go like, oh, she needs she's gonna die. I'm not like, so I can see why Merlin's having this debate because it's sort of like. How is it? Merlin's... He's already killed, tried to kill her once, and look how much damage that's done. People look up as like a sister, and she has loved ones and stuff. And the person she wants to kill is a horrible person. So it's like... Oh, like, yeah, letting the... Like, he could probably save her, and I don't think she should die, per se. Uh, I do think, like, she's... The only problem is, is that how deep her vengeance is going to go and how far she would go to it. Like, like, literally, she would have had the castle taken over. I mean, it's probably would have just taken over, but Arthur would have died. A lot of people probably would have been executed. So, you don't, you don't know. The thing is, it's the unknown. You say, say she did kill Uther and then she took over, for example. Would it be that big of a deal, or would it not? We don't know because it would obviously be better under better leadership than Uther, because Uther's one of the worst. He's probably one of the worst people to lead, especially in this time. So it's quite, an, it's it's a very interesting debate they're putting forward with her character, and it's like, oh, like you're like, oh yeah, you saw for the savior of Arthur, maybe she needs to die, but then you're also like, oh. Technically, she's not that bad. And they probably should save her. So honestly, I, I love that about this show. It's that it was such a strong point for a BBC family show. The debate point in it is amazing, and I love it. You don't understand. There's something you should know. Ooh. Something I've told no one. Go on. Morgana is my daughter. It was while Galois was away. I was fighting on the northern plains. Oh shit! I didn't see that coming. Her mother. Oh shit! She's a bastard. Grew lonely. Fucking hell, Harry! Said enough. Oh, I did not see, not see that coming. But people must never know who Morgana really is. For Arthur's sake. I assure you, sir. The secret is safe with me. Bum, 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 bum! I didn't even think that was going to be... A, I thought it was just literally because of a promise he made. That explains everything. No wonder he spent a year looking for her. Why she can do no wrong. That, that does explain a lot. Jesus. Especially the search party. See, I thought even for a promise, getting all these men killed for one person was a bit like... Oh. I would do anything. I feel no sympathy for you for... <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just like, how many children has he drowned and murdered in front of parents? Because of sorcery. All those people he killed who were helping him, like the dragon, the dragon. Gang. It's like I said, sort of like how love's discriminating, like because the people he loves, he shows discrimination to, but anyone okay. else he doesn't care about. It's one thing I love about the Vinland Saga. Really, show get to open my eyes to that sort of stuff. Merlin season three's been thrown out banging episodes though. Gotta admit, Jesus.
I want you to help me to save her. Merlin, have you learned? <laughs> I love the dragon. The dragon's basically me. <laughs> I will not cure her. She is Uther's daughter. But don't you want? Yes. Wouldn't you want Uther to die? How dare you abuse your power! Hmm. This is really going to backfire on him if I he keeps abusing this. But I warn you, the evil that will follow is of your doing and yours. Alone. Oh, the consequences. Oh, it really feels like Merlin's doing such a choice-based game. And it's like, it's the consequences that could perform is that he could ruin Camelot in the future with these choices, or he could have saved them back five decisions ago. It's like, you probably look back at this show and go, this is the decision where we fucked everything up by the end of it, or, unless it's, or if it's a happy ending, he did all the right choices. It's like, oh, I'd wait know until I finish the series, and that's one thing that's fascinating me. It do, I watch a lot of series with choices, but I feel like because it's so because it's so focused on Merlin's choices, you feel like it's so much more choice based. Oh, he should really shit to sit down and talk to Morgana. I think that's the best way, and he's not done that yet. Is to sit down and have a fucking long chat with this girl. We always, go, we always end up going for the deceiving, you know, watching, being wary, so on. But I think if you actually sat down, because Morgana's not unreasonable. She's a bit insane at the moment, but she's not unreasonable. You must go. I don't want to leave you like this. You must or they will find you here. Do not do anything rash, Morgana. Promise me. I think she's going to do something rash. So why does she knock out the guard unless she's already killed Uther? Arthur sent me to look after you. I was worried about the intruder. Why didn't you just talk to I her? Don't need you. He was quite insistent. <laughs> when did you get a bracelet back? I thought the bracelet got robbed after by the goblin. I love how powerful Merlin can be sometimes, and sometimes he can be wiped out so easily. <laughs> Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the murder of Ofer? Go on, Morgana. Let's do it. Her smile was so meaty, though. <laughs> I'm gonna do an act of villainy. Oh, the soundtrack's so good. <clears throat> you best get running, mate. Eh? Oh, the music can work. Let's go. Come on, Morgana. Do it. Fuck him up. Oh, he's going to stop her just. Oh. Just saved Ufa. Ufa's got plot armor like a boy, hasn't he? Uh, there was a fire. And I was scared. I wanted to be with you. You're the only person I feel safe with. He's going to take off a lot of build up for it to do it again. You saved the king's life. I mean, just thought I could alter the future. You know, I caused it. I'm low key starting to wonder if it's not Morgana who's going to bring this dark future, but it's going to be Uther. Because the more he keeps saving Uther, the more the darker future is going to come, surely. I know Arthur's not technically ready to run a kingdom, but I think he is. I think he's totally ready. Morgana is of royal blood. If Uther were to die, Arthur is all that stands between her and the throne of Camelot. 
Yeah, so now he's left it. It's got, that's more of a riskier thing now, because we should have just left after murdering Ethan. Marriage? I cannot marry someone I don't love. You can, and you will. I'm not the perfect princess, am I? Poopy cock. We have waited many years for this moment. Hey, it's the Pixies. It's been a while. If I marry her, what will you do? I will watch you grow into the king that Camelot deserves. <laughs> no, it looks like a fun one after that serious one because that one was sick. It's serious, weren't it, guys? Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, so I, I pretty much did discuss in the episode a lot when I paused of what I think of the whole Morgana Uthrin situation in general. So I'm not going to go too much into depth again about that. But yeah, I think I started to wonder these days if it's the new. Like, obviously, if Morgana killed Uther there, she would have left and then I would have became king. Whereas now, because she she's going to take a lot of build up, she won't just go and try and kill again because it's going to take a build up in that in the moment sort of feeling. So now she can do as Morgoth wants and that's wait and then get a title, a claim to the throne, get a name known as she's family. Probably start some rumours and then get, yeah, be, be in charge like that. But her being queen could be very, could happen. Um, like I said, I like Morgana's character. She's, she's interesting. She's a bit different than that. I took a character, when I first watched the show, I never expected to where a character ended up. Um, obviously, I think Uther is, like I say, I, I fully, I have no sympathy for Uther. Like, Uther, yeah, he can die whenever, really. Like I say, love his, char love his character and, like, the sort of story he brings along and the actor does a good job. But, as a, but if you judge him as a person, uh, yeah, he's horrible. The amount of people he's killed of un unjustly. Um, so, but I do, but it, it's getting me invested. Like I said, I like that story. Arthur, I do want to see him take over. I think he can make a great king. I'm looking forward to see how long it's going to be before to do that. Like, this, I want to see Arthur become king. I want Merlin, I want Arthur to find out Merlin having magic. That's going to be the best. I want Arthur to get Excalibur back, if he ever gets that. And then I want to see Arthur's round table. I want to see, there's so much I want to see. And I wonder how far, because it's only four seasons. I think it's four, five seasons, five seasons, I think. I wonder how much is actually going to go into all this. Um, obviously, I think banging episode after banging episode so far. Season three, season three is already becoming one of my favourite seasons this quickly. And I'm amazed. I can't even imagine what the finale is going to be like for this season. But yeah, I want to thank everyone of you who joined for this journey. I have so much fun with it. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy, guys. Check out Patreon for the early access and uncut. Hope to see you.